This is Geometry, Chapter 11, Section 3, in which we will study the areas of circles and sectors. The area for a circle is a formula that you've known for a long time. You just sometimes can't pull it up as quickly as uh, you might want to. But it's the square of the radius times the value of pi, or a equals pi r squared. Now, I know most of the pi's you've seen are round, but for area, pi r squared. Just a little math humor there. So let's deal with a couple of circle problems. We have an archery target with a diameter of 24 inches. Question is, what's the area of the target? Well, before we can do the area, we need to know what the radius is. If the diameter is 24, then the radius must be 12. Because as we know, the radius is half the diameter. Now we can plug into our formula, pi times 12 squared. And I use the pi button on my calculator. So I got 452.389 square inches. If you just use 3.14, you'll get a little bit different answer. Close enough, okay, as long as you're in the right neighborhood, then we're all good. Now we can go the opposite direction here. We can find the radius if we're given the area. We'll plug in first the area into the formula. I'm going to divide both sides by pi so they cancel out. r squared equals 196, take the square root, and we find out that r is 14 yards. Okay. Areas of circles, not very painful. Now, a sector has this fancy definition. It's the portion of a circle bounded by the central angle and its intercepted arc. The short version of the formula, or the meaning of sector, is it's a part of a circle. Okay, A slice of pizza is a sector. Now, this white region here is also a sector. Okay, So you'll have to make sure you know which section they're talking about. It'll typically be shaded for you, so you'll be able to work with it. Now, there are several different ways to find the area of a sector. Okay. I like to approach it the same way we did arc length. Using proportions. So, the area of the sector divided by the area of the whole circle would be equal to, just like we had before, the angle over 360. The angle being... The, ang the central angle of the sector. Or in symbols, a over pi r squared equals x over 360. And you'll remember the arc length formula. We had an l here, and we had 2 pi r instead of pi r squared, because we were talking about a length instead of an area. So let's find a couple of sector areas. And I shaded these in yellow for you so that you'd be able to see the numbers with those. Okay. Kind of came up as a gray, a light gray on your note sheet, I'll imagine. So we have everything we need here. We have an angle, and we have a radius. We have everything we need to plug into the formula. Okay. Did a little cross multiplying. Didn't even bother to clean up pi times 6 squared. You could if you wanted to, but I figure I'm just going to put it all in the calculator in one shot. 148 times pi times 6 squared, and then I'm going to divide by 360. So I just punched it all into my calculator at once. Again, you might have a little bit of different answer depending on where you rounded things. Neighborhood rule is in full effect. Now our 
last one over here is a little bit trickier because we're looking at the big sector and not the small sector. But we have the angle for the small sector. So the first thing we need to do is figure out the angle for the big sector. 360 minus the part we know gives us 295 to be the yellow sector angle. Now we have all the information we need to put into the formula. Again, cross multiplying, and I'm just going to feed it all into the calculator in one shot. Find out that the area is 311 and a half, roughly, square inches. Again, your mileage may vary. So areas of circles, pi r square. Areas of sectors, use the proportion. You'll get a little bit of crazy answers because pi is going to cause some crazy answers to show up. Neighborhood rule is in play. If you had questions along the way, hopefully you wrote those down. Bring them in with you and we'll see you in class.